so as we recall back the things from the previous videos for the r scaling function where we have made the translations and the time scaling also for the r wavelet functions again the translations we have made along with the time scaling here so the corresponding functional spaces in general for the r scaling function we have denoted by v sub xj and for r wavelet functions we have denoted it by w sub xj here now if we select the first one that is making the involvement of the original r scaling function and the r wavelet function so we have the first representatives as v0 and w0 so for having the orthogonality between them proved what is the option so if we have v0 that is orthogonal with w0 here it is the kind of symbolic representation so this is the symbol to represent actually the perpendicular to so perpendicular means here in the mathematics the orthogonality condition here so perpendicular is from geometrical point of view and here in this wavelet theory we can have the term orthogonality between the two functional spaces defined here so if we are asked to prove that v0 is orthogonal with w0 so as we recall back the original definition of the orthogonality or the mathematical formulation here so what we need to do we need to check whether they are overlapping into the same interval or not if they are not overlapping into the same interval then they are orthogonal to each other that means no component of one individual in the another individual will be there so they are completely independent of each other we can call it to be the orthogonal here other way if we have to cross check it what we need to do we need to first of all check the overlapping if there it is certain kind of overlapping we have to multiply both of them and further we have to integrate on the entire time scale so if the result of the integration is equal to 0 we will conclude that they are orthogonal to each other so in general what we have the har scaling function and the har wavelet function if we find the inner product of the two here it is the representation so for har scaling function on the left hand side you see there it is phi of t and for har wavelet function we have psi of t so it will be the time integral multiplication of phi of t with psi of t dt here so let us split it into the two terms here from 0 to 0.5 as we recall back the scaling function so for scaling function for 0 to 1 we have amplitude level equal to 1 and for the wavelet function for 0 to 0.5 we have amplitude level equal to plus 1 and for 0.5 onwards up to 1 it will be minus 1 here so if we split into the two terms we have both the positive ones multiplied to each other from the scaling function and that of the wavelet function here but for the next term we have the multiplication of plus 1 with minus 1 here so if you carry on the integration 0 to 0.5 for the first product 1 into 1 and 0.5 to 1 for the next product 1 into minus 1 we get 0.5 minus 0.5 so this will lead us the result of multiplication to be equal to 0 so the multiplication of the original har scaling function and the original har wavelet function without any sort of translation or time scaling we get the multiplication equal to 0 let us now show this multiplication with the help of the graphical illustrations also now on the top you see there it is har scaling function denoted by phi of t you see for the time duration 0 to 1 we have the amplitude level 1 here whereas psi of t denotes the har wavelet function for 0 to 1 by 2 0.5 we have plus 1 amplitude and for 0.5 onwards 1 that means 1 by 2 to 1 
we have here in the negative side it should be minus 1 here so this is the original scaling function this is the original wavelet function for the hard wavelet and if you match the time scale here you see the multiplication so here it is the positive part again positive part multiplication of the two so here we are having multiplication and the result here we are obtaining here so it will be positive so one here we have positive part here but negative part here it will be negative here so now if we have phi of t multiplied to psi of t integrated over the total time axis you see the area under this curvature in the positive part equal area in the curvature for the negative part it is there so they will cancel out and the result of operation we will obtain it to be equal to zero so now we can say that they are orthogonal to each other now if we recall back the complementary relation between the two functional spaces from the har scaling function and that of the har wavelet function we recall that v1 functional space as it was decomposed in terms of the functional basis from v0 and w0 here it was the relation so for the complementary v0 complementary with w0 that constitutes the functional space v1 here so that it was the relation and in the similar fashion we can develop v2 to be v1 complementary of w1 here so in general we can have vj is equal to v sub x j minus 1 complementary with w sub x j minus 1 so you always remember that v is the functional space defined for the har scaling functions whereas w is the functional space defined for har wavelet functions now if we express v sub x j in general using the wavelet spaces alone so that time vj will be equal to v sub x j minus 1 complementary with w sub x j minus 1 but v sub x j minus 1 in general is equal to v sub x j minus 2 complementary with w sub x j minus 2 so therefore the generalized representation of v sub x j after the substitution from the earlier equation will be like this so we have v sub x j is equal to w sub x j minus 1 complementary with w sub x j minus 2 lastly complementary with v sub x j minus 2 and v sub x j by the last here we have w sub x j minus 1 complementary with w sub x j minus 2 complementary with w sub x j minus 3 this way up to w sub x 0 complementary with v sub x 0 here so this is the very important equation that is conveying the information to us that any signal into the generalized functional space v sub x j can be expressed using the functional basis from w sub x j minus 1 w sub x j minus 2 this way up to w sub x 0 along with v sub x 0 so this is basically the foundation of wavelet based decomposition of the signal so the schematic representation here we show so we have v sub x j that can be divided into v sub x j minus 1 and w sub x j minus 1 v sub x j minus 1 can further be decomposed into v sub x j minus 2 and w sub j minus 2 v sub j minus 2 can be further divided into v sub j minus 3 w sub j minus 3 and v sub j minus 3 in terms of v sub j minus 4 w sub j minus 4 here so this was our topic where we have addressed the orthogonality of the har scaling function and the har wavelet function